I need your help and I want to hear your opinion on the overlays. Overlays are this icon right here. Maybe you need to press spacebar to show it. And I want to have a look on these overlays and hear your opinion which of them should I use, which of them you recommend or not use at all. Let's start with the very first one with the character aura and when I have my hero Valve set for example I will, I will be able to see such aura around him if I turn it off I don't see it so this is the very first one which can help me to find my hero and let's go to the second one the selection markers there are two kinds which I want to ta ask you. First one is having always on and the second one is quite more practi practical maybe just when you hover over your, with your mouse and when I hold the space everything is highlighted. So should I use it turn it off fully on or just for highlighting. This one is quite interesting. Next we have the movement paths. So it should be obvious when the unit is moving it will leave the yellow arrows. And if I turn it off then I cannot see them at all. Then we have firing arcs. I wonder if you are using firing arcs as well. This can help me to find how far my archers or missiles or javelins can shoot. Oh, this one is probably some slinger unit. No, it's just archer unit. Yeah. Or do you use it just with who holding the space method? Next we have height foliage which is able to transform ah, let's see closely this is without hiding and this is with hiding maybe in the forest we can we should be able to see bigger difference when it is hidden and when it's very nicely not hidden so do I have any unit here? oh I have some chariots hiding here yeah Next is the unit thread level. So let's say there is some op army opponent army going in. And let's see. When I select very cheap unit, it's really afraid, very high thread. When I select some very strong unit, it's very low thread. Uh, if I put it, it's just here, okay. If you ha look at this card more in more detail, you will see this is still showing the low thread level. The only difference is that the unit icon, the very small one, is or is not shown. Next, general portraits. Do you use it? Do you show it? Ah, here is my hero, yeah. Next we have the unit icons which are same or very similar to the icons in Troy. Uh, I can click on icon, right click the enemy icon. It For me it seems to be practical. Maybe it's easier than just trying to hit unit I can hit the unit icon uh, I'm curious if you are using these icons all the time or maybe if you just hold the space to highlight these icons and then just let it automatically un un uh, hide next we have the unit stats we can see the HP bars so 
they, their H HP should be dropping slightly and especially morale. And did you know that you can have a closer look on the morale? I need to be very precise with my mouse cursor in order to see breakdown of the morale. Yes, it is also sh showing on my units, any units, and that's it. Next we have the unit stats icons, whether unit is moving, holding still, how much stamina it has, how much armor it is having, or right here you can see it's under missile fire. So these icons, oh and another icon here, whether the unit is shooting. Banner description. This one can be slightly annoying, especially for me, because I already understand the breakdown or the description of which bar represent which uh, statistic. So I don't need to see the unit health, morale, ammunition. And if you were wondering, wondering how to hide this thing, just turn this panel description off. It is something else than unit banners. Now in Ferro you can play with banners. You can click them, right click the enemy. It's very nice alternative to, to unit icons from here. And of course you can have both of them. Or you can have just one. Unit tooltip effects. This one is very tricky and Many of you will wonder what the heck is this and let me show you with my hero. I have this shown and I have some ability inspiring shout. When I activate it then I can hover over my units and now you can see the unit is bolstered having morale plus 7. When I turn this off and hover again over such unit you are not seeing the eff effects of such abilities. So now we finally know what this unit tooltip effects actually does in the battle. So the very important question, which combination of these uh, overlay should I be using? And let's see what's the default. This is how default looks like. Some, some things are visible just when holding spacebar, like this. And other things are visible all the time. And I believe this can be very, very confusing. So let, let me know in the comments which combination is the most beautiful one, most practical one and which of them you recommend. That is all and see you later.